Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I am going to be talking all about newest release by Hermes. They release beautiful blushes and lip enhancers. I have one of each to show you. I'm gonna demo them for you. I'm gonna tell you my first impressions on these products. We're gonna talk a little bit price and everything like that. So if you're excited and this is your first time here, I'm Gigi. Thanks so much for clicking on my video. I do a ton of luxury makeup unboxing, reviews, hauls, everything like that. So if the content that you enjoy, go ahead and click on the red button that says subscribe. And also go to my Instagram. Instagram because over there I do keep it posted on new makeup sales, makeup releases, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and get started. Alrighty friends, so let's begin and I am very excited for today's video. Highly anticipated release by Hermes Beauty. They started off with lipsticks and now they released blushes. And those are beautiful, beautiful blushes. They come in multiple shades and they're very pricey. So we're gonna try out the products and we're gonna see how we like them. I'm gonna share my honest, you know, raw first impressions on these two guys. And then later I can do another video for you know like more in depth on the product but anyways i purchased mine from whole renfred here in toronto um i have a beautiful essay her name is dina i'm gonna list her information in my description box she packed everything so so beautifully in this beautiful box if you wanted to see the unboxing you can come over to my instagram it's always listed above uh but yeah i'm gonna leave her information in my description box she is so amazing so beautiful so go ahead and check out her instagram Instagram you can message her through there if you want her services but she packed everything and then she threw in this beautiful Hermes pouch which is beautiful for traveling if I ever get to do that again and anyways I ended up picking up two products I wanted two blushes but then these blushes are gonna be they're really hot so pretty much they pre-order things and I only told her these blushes so at this point I need to stick with one I I'm gonna try the um, you know the formula and then decide if I want to try more I've seen refillables already sold out sausages and all the links for everything are gonna be below they're already at Nordstrom if you're in the US Suffrages if you're in the UK and then holes if you're in Canada but anyways I picked up two of the products I got one of the blushes and this is in the shade Rosé Pomette so let's begin by unboxing the lippy I am dying to put something on my lips they're feeling really dry and I'm interested to see if this is gonna be rehydrating throughout the video with me talking so anyways this is the lippy I got the shade um, rose 1049 and this is a rosy lip enhancer so it's gonna be like your lip balm kind of situation they always come in this and then you get your sleeve that opens up like this and then you get your lippy inside this a beautiful you know for travel and this is the beautiful lipstick and component i am loving this metallic you know like golden thin and then at the bottom is a totally matte and pink i'm here for it it also has of course the Hermes at the top and then you get the shade at the bottom usually their limited edition shades are glossy like this so that's why I'm really loving the matte the pink matte at the bottom so um, your lippy this is what it looks like it says Hermes in the bullet I hope you can see it and I do want to do a swatch right now so this is gonna be very sheer and you have to build it up I picked up the darker shade because I knew you know being a medium complexion I did wanted to get the most out of an enhancer like this this lipstick retail for 87 Canadian dollars at least the US price but it says rose apricot evoke fresh dew on the lips it's weightless and translucent halo reveals the lips natural beauty with its fine and delicate waxy finish the rosy lip enhancer melts over the lips, leaving a hint of transparent pink and a matte luminosity. I know what they're talking about, the matte luminosity, because this is a consistency that I've never seen on a lip balm product. Uh, lips are delicately smooth with a soft focused effect. Sesame seed and raspberry seed oils are going to help to soften and nourish. So I'm not gonna apply any lip liner. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply um, the enhancer. So.
doesn't have a scent and if it does it's very very mild really really mild i love that about her men's lipsticks that they don't really have an overpowering floral or like gucci kind of scent they do not so this is what it looks like let me bring you a little bit closer so i do see what they mean about that matte soft focus effect on the lipstick it is a very 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 comfortable it feels really thick and like you know it feels very there like you're having a thick balm uh, which i like i don't like those buttery kind of balms this is my kind of balm where you feel thick and you know like it's there I like it. I really like the consistency. All right, guys, and I had like a minute or two to look at the balm and like, this is a really pricey balm. I'm gonna let it sit. I'll let you know what I think at the end. It looks really pretty, but I don't think it's something super extraordinary. Not sure. We'll see, we'll see. But let's move on to the blushes. I picked up the shade 32 Rose Pomette and I believe they come into nine different shades. When you open it up, you get a pretty sliff, just like the lippy, and then I think you pull, yeah. You pull and the blush is in here. They're already selling refills, um, you know, from the blushes, which I think is amazing and also um, refills of these ones. So if you wanted to pick just a refill, you could totally do that with the blush. It's gonna be a lot cheaper that way, um, but you don't get this beautiful compact. Let me show you. Rosé Hermes Sulky Blush Powder retails for 130 Canadian dollars. It's a blush with a semi-matte finish and bows with texture resembling silk twill. A fine a silky long-lasting powder for a luminous radiant complexion. So this promises to give you a soft matte but also a radiant complexion. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's uh, go ahead and apply this guy. The um the bronzer that I have on right now is completely matte, is the one in the shade medium from Charlotte. So let's go ahead and apply it shade 32 which is this really bright pink and when you touch it you don't get a ton of kickback but you can see that the brush picked up a good amount of product And friends, this blush is absolutely stunning. It is very pigmented. I only did like one or two, you know, passes with my brush on the blush. You picked up a good amount of product and this is the blush. I think it's impeccable. Like the formula just glided over my cheeks. You saw very, very effortlessly and it's so, so beautiful, very blurring and softening into my complexion. I'm not sure about that luminous finish that they're talking about. I don't really see it, to be honest. Um, this is, I don't know, I, I keep looking at myself really close up. Let me do a swatch and maybe I'm able to see it better. Ooh, to touch, this is so soft it's like i'm touching um a cream product so let me do a little swatch right there and you can see that it looks really light and bright but it is a beautiful it is a beautiful in my complexion yeah i think that this is totally like a semi matte but i don't see it you don't get shimmer you don't get specks of nothing it is very softening very blurring it is beautiful it is a beautiful shade i love it 
Oh my goodness, I'm in trouble. I think I want to try more shades. This is just so pretty. I, I love blush and I just love, you know, like vivid bright shades like this. I wasn't sure this was gonna show up on my complexion. This so. is just a beautiful. I truly love it. Again, I just feel like it's just so pretty, so blurring, so softening. I Yeah, I, I don't get that like shimmer that they're talking about. It's just like a sheen and maybe soft and something like that, but I don't really see much. This is like, um, it's not really gel to powder, but when you touch it, it's such a beautiful formula. You don't get kickback from here. It's really well pressed in there, so you're not gonna lose any of these you know, powder gold that we have in here because of the price that we get. This product is made in Italy, of course. You get 12 month shelf life and you get six grams of product in this guy. So as mentioned, you get six grams of a product in this one by Hermes. And I wanted to compare the amount of product that you get in some luxury blushes. So let's say Little Guy by Chantecaille. These ones are beautiful. They're also really, really pretty. I have here Grace and you get 2.5 grams of product for this amount of money. I'll list it here because I don't know it at the top of my head and when it comes to a chanel blush for example you get four grams of product so you are truly getting a whole lot more on the hermes blushes So you're truly getting a little bit more in the Hermes, um, you know, blushes if you cared. I know that this is very pricey, still $100 for a blush, but this packaging, if I didn't mention, is magnetic as their blushes. This is a truly beautiful, just a work of art. Of course, you're paying for the brand. Of course, you're paying for the packaging, but the product inside, I feel like is stunning. I 100% see why um, I would want more because I, I, I am going to get maybe one or two more. I'm not sure if I want refills, to be honest. I don't really carry C palettes. I much rather have a beautiful compact like this, but I know they're very pricey. So now let's move on to the lip enhancer, AKA lip balm. Um, I don't know you guys, that lip enhancing uh, that they're talking about, I'm not sure, like this is, this is pretty much my lips, uh, you know, my lip color. It does feel really comfy. As I said, it is like a thick balm. It is hydrating. It feels really nice. I love it. I really love the color, especially. I think that it's so easy to apply. I do like that it's a matte finish. I love matte. And I know NARS have some lip balms that are matte. I haven't tried them, so I can, um, you know, compare it uh, to them. But this is really nice. It feels really nice on my lips. Would I buy more? I would not. One, that's all I need. The blushes, I do feel like I need one or two more. All right, friends, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments. I would love, I would love to hear from you. What do you think of these two products? What do you think of the blush? What do you think of the lip enhancer? What do you think of my first impressions and thoughts? Let me know any questions, any comments, anything at all. Just drop it below. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.